this is the new Huawei MateBook Pro. And this is the MatePad Pro. And this is the Mate 70. I am well in the Huawei ecosystem by now. And uh, today I want to show you the synergy features that make these devices work together. It's pretty cool. Let's go. Okay, so first up we have keyboard and mouse sharing. And as you can see here, I just drag my mouse to the mate pad and it connects. It was very fast. Um, and yeah, then I can use my mouse as normal. And the same thing here, if I want to move to the phone, I can also use the mouse. Uh, it seems to have a little bit of problem picking the phone up here. As you can see on the computer, you have two screens now. You have the, yeah, okay, here we go. So you see the concept white and then it finds it. So now if you look at the computer, you can see we have our made pad to the left, the laptop in the middle and the phone to the right. And we can use the mouse uh, as we want. Yeah, so let's see how far. Yeah, now this is kind of a feature I just found, just playing around, I didn't know this. I didn't see this record, but it can kind of auto-locate. So you see now I move the phone and look, you see that on the computer? It realized that the phone was now between the pad and the, and the computer. So now the mouse goes through it. That's amazing. I don't know how they did that. And uh, I haven't seen this advertised or in a video of this. I just, I was just moving them around and noticed this. And uh, you see here, I put, when I put the mate pad to the right of the computer, uh, you can see if you look at computer. Yeah, you see that? You see that? It's changed again. That is so cool. Yeah, it's really, really cool. I love it. I don't know, kind of, uh, <laughs> no, it is useful because the, I drag my, when I drag my mouse there, it, uh, you know, it go right to the pad and up to the phone. Yeah, and now I want to show this little thing called gaze pointer. Basically, you can look at one screen and then the screen will recognize you looking at it and then you press control on the keyboard and the mouse will move to that screen. So I'll, I'm not sure if you can see this clearly, but for example, now I'm looking. I'm looking at the a phone. Can you see that? There's like a small icon coming up. I'm looking at the phone. Da, da, pressing control. I can see. Yeah, you see now the mouse pointer is on the phone. Uh, now look at the pad. Yeah, you see mouse pointer is there. Control. Now look at the computer. Yeah, control. You see. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's really cool. So now I want to show you a feature that's called handover. What it does is basically you can hand over apps between the devices so for example if I start a browser here um, on my computer uh, yeah, so I have this monkey session here so as you can see now in both in the phone and on the pad there's a browser uh, shared browser session in the bottom that means I can just take it over see so now I have this same session on the on the pad and uh, yeah I can do this on the phone too here and uh, same with the notes, you can also do it with the notes. Um, so uh, you write something on note on one, and then uh, you share. So here I wrote on the pad, and I can bring it up on my computer. That's very handy. Uh, we also have this cross device clipboard. What it means is basically like uh, copy paste is uh, if you copy something on one device, uh, you have to can paste it on everyone else. So here, for example, just paste some text on the top here. And uh, yeah, this is very useful, especially from the phone. Sometimes there's maybe an SMS, some part of SMS you wanna, you wanna copy. Uh, yeah, very handy, I think. That's a good good feature. Uh, so next up is the file transfer. Uh, basically, it's very easy. You find a file you want to move and you basically drag and drop it to the other device. So here, I'm trying to move this file. Uh, yeah, well, it moved into the browser, the browser you could open it, so. Um, if I drag it to the desktop instead, yeah, it will be safe. So yeah, let's put it on the desktop. And it's fine. And I can open it so easily. And I can also drag it to the phone, of course. Uh, but here's the cool thing. If I drag it into the note pad, uh, it saves as a note in the note. That's pretty cool. That could be handy. So next up, we have the grab shot. I've probably seen this. I uh, see you here. I can. Uh, show my hand for the uh, for my phone and then take it to create the to grab a screenshot and then I can uh, 
didn't work the first time here, but here if I show my hand to my pad, I can paste it. It's really cool, especially when you do it with other users. Uh, it doesn't work with the computer though. Not sure why. Maybe the camera is too bad to have it too low quality or something. But yeah, I can also do it from the pad to the phone. It's cool. I like this feature. It's more handy than I thought it would be. And you can also use it with file if you don't want to take a screenshot. If you have a, like here, I have a file, take a file from the gallery. Uh, and then it will transfer that file as it is instead. Not uh, take a screenshot. So, yeah. See here, I'm gonna transfer the other one. So this one, take this, let's take this file. See, open up your hand, grab it. And uh, then show your hand, and then I grab it. Yeah. Cool, right? I love this feature. It's so fun to play with, especially with other users. Yeah, so the last uh, thing I want to show is the super device feature. So the phone has super device integration with the computer and the pad but the pad and computer doesn't have one yet um there's rumors that's going to be extended pretty quick so yeah so the super device basically uh, clones the phone so i can use the phone uh, on my computer uh i can do everything anything on it um yeah open apps control it completely so yeah but i cannot move it to, to the pad here um but yeah, so you can open also, you can open it yeah, on the pad, it's the same thing. So I guess when you have the computer, not really, you don't really need it because you can just share this keyboard and mouse and it's the same thing. But if you only have the pad on the phone, you cannot do that. So then it's very handy to do this. Um, and I really hope that there will be a, a pad and computer integration that is extend the computer screen. Like, that is really the only, you know, kind of big feature that I am missing right now. Okay, anyway, <coughs> I hope you liked this video. There's uh, a lot of cool things. I, I, I'm 100% sure I missed something, but um, I tried to cover uh, as much as I could. So these Synergy features are the bomb, in my opinion. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.